Hello Martians and Architects of Space, welcome back to Surviving Mars and playing hardball. Welcome back to our beautiful colony, our ever-growing habitat on Mars. Here now with our functioning barrel dome in Old Town. And over here, yeah, I mean, Newtown does have some problems. Unemployed people who don't find themselves the jobs. People get lazy, apparently. Well, and our new mining colony is working, but that actually rather nicely. Uh, we do have the, uh, the geologists over here. Yeah, that's the situation. Metals extractor. Not sure why these guys are working during the night. I think they will. This will wreck them. Not living, uh, or not working uh, within a dome, and then working during the night. Although they could work during the day, but well, I guess they will do what they can. So. Research complete. Milestone achieved. Oh, we have two thousand five hundred. 500 colonists, ah oh, yeah. And hanging gardens, very nice. Okay. There. A beautiful park complex that greatly improves the comfort of all residences in the dome. One of humanity's most enduring and fanciful legends from the ancient past is made a reality on Mars. Beautiful! And there, we have our fireworks. Nice. Very nice indeed. Resources are low. Beautiful. It's, it's important to celebrate if something nice happens. So, there we go. So, and we do have one rocket coming in with a lot of electronics and our new explorer. And what is the, with you guys? You have a lot of homeless people. Yeah, no one knows why. What are you guys doing there? No, oh, well. We don't care. <laughs> we simply don't care. So. By the way, I just noticed something. I had... Oh yeah, well, the idea had been to actually have a connection to the next dome here for all of these and i didn't think about the, uh, connecting this one but well we can we can just tear this one down of course yeah well but that will of course cut over everything by the way let's just check this like a basic we wanted to have a basic dome here right just a small basic one, so we don't destroy the nice... Yeah, no, we, we want to keep the craters here because that's so cool. They look so good. That's basically the huge asset uh, for our safaris. Yeah, well... So, by the way, so what is what is going on with our tourists? We have one, uh, one tourist left in the colony, and the person doesn't want to go home, huh? He's still enjoying his holy, holy uh, his holiday, living in luxury. It's living in the apartments. Why? So he's in Old Town. So I, I really have no idea why the guy 
is not living here. I think he must have left the Olympus Hotel for some reason. But I mean, he can actually, like he's okay. Let's throw out, let's, oh yeah, here, here's, he's, uh, he's doing good, okay. I want you to live here. Uh, can I? There. So, and then the tourist. Wendelin. I need you to live here in total luxury. Comfort of residence is 80. How much is it actually inside of the Olympus Hotel? Resources are low. 75. Oh, yeah, it's even better. So he wanted to have an Airbnb experience on Mars or something. And now he has an even better one. With the luxury apartments. Well, they don't have too much space in there. Just peeking in there. But it's like a Japanese style, I guess. And I wonder, like, four people are living in here together or what? <laughs> There's only one bedroom. And what's going on there? Can we actually look in there? Yeah. They... This is the fridge, I guess. Do they have a bathroom? Doesn't even look like they have a bathroom in there. Maybe up here. Behind this one. Yeah. Like the elevator, huh? Well, whatever. So, whoever designed that. Probably wasn't a real architect. At least not on Mars. So. Um, <clears throat> what to do and what to wait for. So, we wanted to have something nice here, right? So, I mean, we could have the hanging gardens. Comfort to all... Comfort all residences, plus 30. Service comfort 100. Beautiful park complex increasing uh, increases the comfort of all residences in the dome, but only this dome. Well, but actually, I think it's appropriate. So, this here... This, while this is only a small dome, this is actually a dome that, uh, that with with this one everything began. So that's why I feel, oh, it consumes two water, but we have a pl surplus of five. So I guess it's fine. Oh, uh, that's nice. So let's build it. Cost ten polymers, forty concrete. That we can do. So let's do that. And then the people here. Not sure if people can uh, can actually go there, but I feel it's quite appropriate. Quite appropriate. Because with this dome everything began and this, uh, this these hanging gardens here, they are also a form of testimony. Oh, and there's a giant tree up there. That's nice. Very nice indeed. So let's have a look. <clears throat> We do have enough concrete here. What was that? Well, good thing that this is automated and no one is living close by or working because he would go nuts with that noise all the time. Huh? Aha, we do have two people. Aha. So we do have unemployed and homeless people they are all unemployed here so you are able to work and unemployed Hal Connor come on buddy you can work there and live here 
Very soon your live quality will be tremendously nice. Maybe we should actually have a, a hippie here. Do we have an unemployed hippie? Someone who appreciates. There. Mars Red World. You can also live here. And you are working in there. So, and then both jobs are filled. There we go. So, the rockets are nearly there. So we are we are landing the rocket just here. And then the tourists can the tourists can actually uh, go home from there back home to earth. That one has concrete. I have no idea why they carry concrete from up there, but well, we don't have to understand everything, right? You don't have to understand everything in life. So, our electricity works nicely. So, let's have a look at our. No, that's not the right one. At our uh, research. So, we have the localized terraforming. That gives us the geoscope, uh, geoscape dome. That will be great. Then micro manufacturing, the electronics factory, water rec reclamation. Yeah, that's just to complete stuff. Well, and I feel we could use the super fungus. Maybe uh, it will also do something. Who knows? I neglected that for a long time, actually. Art workshop, the project Morpheus. Compact hangars. Yeah, well, we, we have enough shuttles and they are not working properly anyway. So then the storage is here. That's machine parts factory. We have, we are, we are drowning in machine parts actually. Um, large water tank, the archaeology for more living space. Yeah, that's actually, it's probably, that would be probably a good thing uh, to have in the Super Geoscape Dome, because they are like, yeah, here, like over here, as you guys remember, there, we'll have one, two, and three additional thingies here for comfort, the Vista. And then in addition, the super dome. Well, it's it's not here yet. But like the this year, the geoscape dome. Oh, is it that actually? Yeah, there. Yeah, it's terraforming. So the people in there, they have a tremendously uh, high uh, life quality, I guess. So uh, it would be it would be smart to have as many people live in there as possible. And I wonder if the space elevator, if that's actually um, a thing that needs to be built on a dome or something, but I guess not. I think it's just a normal building. The Mohol mine extracts metals, rare metals and waste rock without the need of a deposit while heating the surrounding area. Yeah, so I'm a bit confused by the way with the heating. So we, we have never seen any f uh, freezing Sector yet. Scanned. But uh, our difficulty level and stuff should actually um, make that possible. Let's check this one here. I, I guess there's nothing there. So, 
So we've got vacant residential slots, two vacant work slots, ten vacant work slots. Yeah, and here we have... Oh, no one is working in the machine parts factory. That's not very smart. Also three people. I guess we have some seniors. Well, I'm not sure where all the people are. But, well, I really don't feel like I want to do this here, like manually. I really don't want to do that. Oh, he's an idiot. How could that have happened? By the way, do we have anybody with uh, some bad stuff? So we could put them into our sanitarium, no. Well then, he's unemployed. Why are you unemployed? Uh, by the way, so there. Do we have space for people? Yes, plenty. Three jobs. Why people, why? Why can't you go uh, and find the job for yourself, I wonder? Here, Spock. Um, not the hippie, he's actually, wasn't he supposed to go to the other dome? Well, anyway, so you go here, work there, live here. I, uh, you're already living there, so that I don't understand. Why are you in this dome here? I don't, I have no idea. But I really want to do this one. Joel Cola, party animal, that's good. So you work here at the bar. You will be super happy there. There. Oh yeah, and here uh, the rocket can land. There you go. It would have been cool to have the, uh, the rocket land while we had the fireworks. And our gardens are finished. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Beautiful. Quite beautiful. I like it. And people are in there already. Relaxation, exercise, playing and social. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. So. So our mission had been to revive uh, Old Town and I think it's working. So. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed, I'm happy. I'm really happy about that. So, now we just need people. More people. Don't we have more doctors? So here, we have one unemployed person. Who is unemployed and why? No filters are active. Where's the unemployed person? Why, why is that? <laughs> What's going on? Ah, well, not unemployed anymore. Okay, well then. But here it's only engineers. Oh no, here, Rocket Orion. Well then, you go. And there, and live here. What is this? She's a geologist. Sorry, but you need to be here. And work like... Like there and live here. I mean, we do have a certain surplus of rare metals. Aha. Finally, departing tourists. Okay, so. Are you happy? See happy? Yes. Morale 70. Satisfaction 100. They are very good. Comfort 87. Yeah. That should be nice, right? So. Ah, and here. Let's use the explorer. They are scanning the anomaly before the AI can destroy the explorer again. 
Okay. So, and by the way, do we have tourists here? Do we have any tourists? Because we can actually send new tourists here. Residents. Are there any tourists? In the whole colony? No, okay, only that guy, okay. So that's good. Let's go to Earth. Passenger rocket. That all doesn't matter. Specialization. Now we only want tourists. Tourist whiner, workaholic, alcoholic. No, thank you. Whiner, loner, whiner, whiner. More whiners and alcoholics. Loners, melancholic. What's wrong with all these people? They are. Leontina is the first person, so, well, let's look here. Survivor, coward, and whiner, well, let's, let's be optimistic that no catastrophe happens. Hippie. Yeah, well, you, on Mars you can't be a loner. It's as simple as that. Yeah, that guy is okay. That's a senior. You're supposed to be a tourist. Hmm. Cyprian. Oh, yeah, but, well, by the way, they, the tourists can be alcoholics. I think they just go more often to a bar or something. So why not? They are only temporary on Mars anyway. So there. But no gluttons, let's rather save our food. This one, yeah, that's fine. Religious and melancholic, that's fine. Rugged, sexy and workaholic. William Zahn. You can leave some genetic material on Mars if you want to. So then. Tourist vegan, that's fine. And another one. Henry Charles. Tourist enthusiast, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, let's have this guy. Okay. Launching. Which means the people in here will soon have to leave. But well. It's just the normal thing, right? So here we go. The AI has been rather calm, but who knows what it's doing. Do we have space for people to live in? Yes, we do. So here, the unemployed guys. The nerd, Nadia, can actually work here at the machine factory. There. And there. Yeah, well. I guess we need another dome here with some more good stuff. But well, this dome here has actually a lot of good stuff. The medical center. Including rejuvenation. It's actually like Old Town is doing pretty well, I think. We just need some more medical staff. So here, do we have unemployed people here? No. There are four unemployed here. Who are you guys? Ah, yeah. Geologists, why are you homeless? Come on. Go here. You're already working there. I don't. Do I have to understand that? 
Max Mercury is unemployed. Live here. Work there. By the way, where's actually where's the metal going? Let's have let's have one storage uh, of metal. Metals depot. Like there. And then this is for concrete. And then let's have one for rare metals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and we need to, we kind of need to uh, connect the dome. We could also make another dome for old people, actually. But this one here is actually kind of obsolete now. Maybe we should actually just recycle everything. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea, huh? We could do that. And then we just build another one. I'd rather expand in this direction. But I mean, on the other hand, this already exists and it's fine. We just need more people and a connection here. And that's that. This is the stone garden, right? Oh yeah, and 1,100. So we, we don't want to just destroy something because it's all history, the history of Mars of humanity on Mars. So you guys are nearly finished with uh, getting all the electronics out of there. Now we've got 143. Yeah, so that's good. And the other, once the other one uh, is actually uh, coming here, we could actually check out something. Project Oracle. The F Zafari, okay, something interesting seems to be going on here on Mars. Many interesting things can get you killed. Strange signals. Yeah, and then there, Project Mist. Multiple strange signals detected over time can all be traced to this area. It is now nicknamed the Zone. Maybe that's also a thing. Oh, oh no, five of our drones, come on. Five drones all at once. Oh well. So, but we can be rather happy with our hanging gardens here. So, and this is actually where we can end this episode. Oh yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, that one, the rocket with the tourists on board can take off actually we don't need anything they are refueled yeah so they can actually start returning to earth building destroyed so let's rebuild it there yeah full golden stars excellent so they are very good and the person paid 38 million And then here with our hanging gardens and that's a nice picture to say goodbye for today thanks for watching guys let's just check this one here what's that what is destroyed what is destroyed here oh or oh, the harvest now that is low Nasty AI. Well, the AI didn't receive ethical training, I think, or sufficient ethical training. Well, oh, here. Or oh, again. Oh, come on.
Well, I guess. Yeah, what's going on here? Well, I mean, we we we. Uh, it appears the explorer was was checking this here. Wow, a. Eh? Uh, but one explorer is super expensive. How much was one? 400 million? Hmm. Yeah, well. Anyway, so. This is where we end this episode. Thanks for watching. The AI is getting on the nerves. On, on the Martian nerves. Um, but well. Still, I don't think that it was a bad decision. Like... Oh, well, it evidently was a bad decision to have an AI in our systems. Um, but I mean, on an ethical level, I think it wasn't because we gave the thing the chance and it proved unworthy, actually, of the trust. Sector yeah, we scan. trusted the AI. We wanted to have a very nice and peaceful and productive coexistence. And then it just starts messing everything up. So that's not... That's not how it was uh, actually meant to be. Yeah. But apparently we are kind of defenseless and stupid here on Mars. We can't do anything about it. We can just wait. And get more explorers for a lot of millions. But well, how things go and progress on our beautiful colony we will see in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And guys, if you liked anything at all about this series, this episode, please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel because that's a free and easy way for you to support this whole project. Thank you so much for it. And let's continue next time. If you have any thoughts you wish to share, please do so in the comment section as always. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye-bye.